The Dutch city of Tilburg was liberated in October 1944. It was part of Operation Pheasant, the large-scale Allied operation to clear North Brabant of Axis forces. Now the city was liberated by the Scottish forces, but also Dutch Allied forces of the Princess Irene Brigade took part in the battle. In this video, you're gonna learn about another forgotten World War II battle, the Battle of Tilburg. Keep watching. Hey, good to have you back on the channel. If you're new, I'm Steve, I'm a Dutch history teacher and I like to cover history on location for you. And I'm now in the Dutch city of Tilburg on the Vrijheidspark, uh, Freedom Park, and you see uh, different war memorials. And this is a memorial of a Scottish World War II soldier because the Scottish forces liberated this city in October 1944. Although Dutch Allied forces also took part in the battle. If you find these on location videos interesting, consider subscribing and also hit that notification bell. The city of Tilburg is located in the south of the Netherlands, in the province of North Brabant. During the 19th century, the textile industry grew and Tilburg was nicknamed Wolstad, Wool City. Thus, gradually a city structure with shops and workers' houses was created. The development into a city brought with it the need for a general expansion plan, which was drawn up in 1917. By 1940, the city had around 93,000 inhabitants. During the German invasion of the Netherlands, the Germans threw bombs on the city because the city had a junction of railway connections. On May 12th, the first German troops entered the city. There were 23 deaths among the civilian population. From the 10th to the 13th of May, eight Dutch soldiers were killed in Tilburg. A total of 20 soldiers from Tilburg were killed in various places in the Netherlands. The city was under German occupation till October 1944. During the war, a total of 130 Tilburg Jews were murdered and 92 Tilburgers died from forced labor in Germany. Early September, Brussels and Antwerp were liberated. And there was a rumor that the Netherlands was going to be liberated as well. Therefore, Dutch citizens started to celebrate prematurely the liberation. Many German soldiers actually believed this and many left their posts. But they soon returned. As it turned out, the Allies weren't showing up yet. These events occurred on September 5th and are known as Dolle Dinsdag or Mad Tuesday. Maastricht was the first Dutch city to be liberated mid-September. The Allies then launched Operation Market Garden, an operation which failed in its primal objective. Yet, the Allies did create a corridor and from there they launched Operation Pheasant to liberate the rest of North Brabant. And Tilburg was one of the cities that was to be liberated. The German forces west of the corridor were led by Gustav Adolf von Zangen. He knew very well he could not stop the Allies and made preparations for a withdrawal. This was against the orders of his superiors. He came to the conclusion that fighting a delaying fight was the only viable option. Von Zangen wanted to compensate for the loss of terrain with saving time. On the one hand, he did not wish to jeopardize the safe retreat. On the other hand, the impression was not to be created that the 15th Army was seeking a safe escape across the major rivers without resistance. And with Allied air superiority, this was not going to be an easy task. Von Zangen had three German army corps under his command. The one in Zeeland and West-Brabant, one in Midden-Brabant and the one in Den Bosch. He soon had to give up the latter. As reserve, the weak 256th Volksgrenadier Division arrived mid-October in Tilburg. He received mobile units like Kampfgruppe Schill, but was clearly not prioritized and this was because German high command laid the focus on the Battle of Aachen as well as the preparations for the Ardennes offensive. As Polish, American, Canadian and British forces advanced from Belgium, different Dutch cities and towns were liberated. As the fighting in West Brabant intensified, Van Zangen directed most of his forces there. This happened on the 8th of October. He expected Allied forces to advance from the corridor shortly after. Part of the 12th British Army Corps was the 15th Scottish Division under command of General Barber. On the 26th of October, Oosterwijk was liberated. From the south, the 4th Armored Brigade reached Tilburg. Part of this were Dutch Allied soldiers that were part of the Princess Irene Brigade. And behind me, you see a monument dedicated to those men. From Hilvarenbeek, they were ordered to liberate Tilburg. For two days, 
they were involved in heavy fighting against the men of the Volksgrenadier Division. The defenders did hold their ground. The Allies decided not to sacrifice the men of the Dutch Brigade and replace them by more experienced Scottish soldiers. This happened on October 27th. By that time, the Germans had already abandoned the city. Reports did reach the Allies that there were still some Germans in the city, but most likely these were rear guard troops that were about to leave Tilburg. Nevertheless, the Scottish artillerymen started a preliminary artillery barrage, which at the end was totally pointless. Needless to say, the civilians of the city suffered severely, and especially those living in the southern quarter of Bruckhoven, as one student wrote. Closer and closer, the projectiles hit. I fall flat on my stomach next to a garden wall. More people huddle against the houses. Others run across the street. Still others lie on the road. During the barrage, members of the block crew came to the aid of those at need, were hit by shrapnel. And as the liberators cautiously entered the city, they were met with unprecedented enthusiasm. While the dead and wounded were silently tended to, by those who had set themselves the task of bringing relief to those who experienced the dark side of the liberation. The city of Tilburg and especially the part of Buchhoven saw significant damage, yet the fighting was of a smaller scale compared to Den Bosch that saw much more intensive street fighting. The liberation of Tilburg claimed more victims in Tilburg than the beginning of the war. The hard truth is that Tilburg was liberated on October 27, 1944, but the war was far from over. In the liberation month of October 44, 78 people were killed in Tilburg by artillery bombardments. Between October 27th and May 5th, liberation of the Netherlands, 71 Tilburgers were killed by German missiles, the V1 and V2 rockets, or mines. If you want to have an overview of the liberation of the Netherlands, click here. If you want to learn about another forgotten World War II battles that took place in the Netherlands during the liberation, click here for the Battle of Groningen. Thanks for watching and how do.